brother marines. We have returned again on this day to find who's who in the galactic smackdown that is Arcs of Omen the Lion. Well, I imagine that the lion would be in it. It would be kind of disappointing if he wasn't. You can't go a viking around the galaxy smashing and grabbing from secure Imperial outposts without making a few enemies. And Vashtor now has some pretty big names coming for him as the Arcs of Omen series reaches its climax. So before Arcs of Omen the Lion goes up for pre-order, pre-order now, this weekend, pre-order this weekend, we are taking a moment to root through our rogues gallery and see where the major players are at heading into the story. Let's check this out. Where are they, where are they at? Vashtor the Archifane. And there he is right there. I found him faster than Where's Waldo. As the central figure to the whole saga, as a central figure to the whole saga, got it on the second try, Vashtor has his talons in many pies. The search for the key fragments has been fruitful thanks to his allegiance with Abaddon the Despoiler, and despite a setback on the rock, he is in high spirits. Now he's retreated to a far-flung corner of the galaxy to begin his real work. The Dark Angels are hot on his hooves, but could it be that the Archifane looks forward to their arrival? Whatever he sought aboard the rock must be important to his plans, and machinating it to be delivered to his doorstep is the kind of scheme that only the intensely analytical demon lord could concoct. Abbott on the Despoiler, WarhammerCommunity.com Though loath to consort directly with demon kind, Abbott on the Despoiler has enough experience to come out on top of any bargain. That the Arcs of Omen have ravaged the Imperium so badly is already a pretty big win, and Vashtor has promised him much more should the key be assembled. For now, Abaddon and the Vengeful Spirit wait in the wings, ready to take advantage of whatever developments arise. Demons and hubris go together like tea and biscuits, and if the Archifane bites off more than he can chew, Abaddon won't stick around to pay his tab. Then we have Supreme Grand Master Azriel. Azriel only narrowly defended the rock in Arcs of Omen Vashtor, and vengeance is on his mind. A captured traitor revealed the whereabouts of Vashtor's headquarters, and though the information is suspect, the Supreme Grand Master can't afford to waste it. Azriel has gathered the full might of the Unforgiven. Far-flung chapters, heeding his call as the Dark Angels assemble one of the mightiest fleets in recent history. The rock at its center. So why does it feel like Vashtor wants this to happen? What trump card could he possibly hold that would warrant the ire of an entire Space Marine Legion. Commander Dante. We probably didn't expect him to be in this next release, but here he is. Never one to relax. Commander Dante has leapt right from crossing the Rubicon Primaris to a wide-ranging investigation aboard the Arcs of Omen. When the Night Terror bore down on a vulnerable agri-world, Dante moved to intercept but found the ship completely devoid of life. All that remained were the piled corpses of its heretic Astartes crew, slain by bolt gun and blade, and the faint traces of ethereal plant life. The Blood Angels have finally triangulated the point of that manifestation's next appearance. Only the Emperor knows what they'll find. Though you may have a pretty good guess by now, Angron, Demon Primarch of the World Eaters. Wow. He's definitely not just a bloodthirster. Since the destruction of the Coral Engine in Arcs of Omen Angron, and the ensuing loss of almost an entire Indomitus fleet to the murder curse, Angron has been doing what he does best, slaughtering loyalists. The destruction of Malakbael, 
allowed Vashtor to claim a crucial key fragment, and, though the Demon Primarch cares little for anything besides wanton destruction, he won't miss out on the chance to add thousands more Space Marine skulls to the Skull Throne. And Lionel Johnson, Primarch of the Dark Angels. It looks like he's got a little bit of his hairline back here in this photo. We know he's coming back, but where exactly will he appear? And will he be in time to stop whatever dark designs Fashtor has for the galaxy? The Lion's arrival is sure to be one of the most momentous events in recent Warhammer history. And all we can say for sure is the Imperium will not be the same when the dust has settled. Pre-order Arcs of Omen, The Lion, and Lionel Johnson's spectacular new model this Saturday, alongside the standalone releases of Azrael, of Azrael, got it on the second try, and Vashtor, and the reborn Commander Dante. You're right. I can blame Bellacor for that one. Yeah. Evan, go and check out Slave's channel.